Hey YouTube, this is the Robinhood Investor. Hope you had a great day of trading. As always, I really appreciate your support. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about investing, subscribe to this channel. Today, I'm going to talk about six stocks trading below the 200 day simple moving average. This is the average closing price over the last 200 days. Moving average is used to identify trends, measure the strength of an asset's momentum, and determine potential areas where an asset will find support or resistance. This is a key indicator for determining overall long-term trends. So the price level in a market that coincides with a 200-day moving average is recognized as a major support above 200 simple day moving average or resistance when price is below the 200-day moving average level. First stock is Facebook, ticker symbol FB. Facebook provides products to connect, share, and communicate. Its products include Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, and Oculus Virtual Reality. Current price is $157.37. Market cap is $458 billion. P ratio is 22, and four P ratio is 19. All right, let's take a look at the performance. Today, down 0.05%. Past week, down 2.62%. Past month, down 3.76%. Past three months, down 23.05%. Past year, down 8.88%. And past five years, up 210.21%. Dividend yield is zero, which means they are reinvesting all profits back into growth. Next is Alibaba, ticker symbol BABA. Alibaba is a e-commerce com uh, company in China and operates in four segments. Core, uh, core commerce, cloud computing, digital media and entertainment, and innovation initiatives. Current price is $151.47. Market cap is $396 billion. PE ratio is 47 and four PE ratio is 20. All right, let's take a look at the performance. Today, down 2.26%. Past week, down 5.19%. Past month, down 4.49%. Past three months, down 21.47%. Past year, down 15.37%. Past five years, up 63.4%. Dividend yield is zero, which means they are reinvesting all profits back into growth. Next is AT&T, ticker symbol T. AT&T provides communications and digital entertainment services. Current price is $34.24. Market cap is $249 billion. P ratio is 18 and 4 P ratio is 9. All right, let's take a look at performance. Today up 0.35%. Past week up 2.21%. Past month up 6.07%. Past three months, up 6.2%. Past year, down 11.41%. And past five years, up 1.66%. Dividend yield is 5.86%, which means they are paying investors $2 per year or 50 cents per quarter. This is a solid dividend play. Next is Intel, ticker symbol INTC. Intel designs, manufactures, and sells computer, networking, data storage, and commu communication platforms worldwide. Current price is $47.08. Market cap is $222 billion. P ratio is 12, and forward P ratio is 11. All right, let's look at the performance. Today, no movement, 0%. Past week, down 9.93%. Past month, up 1.12%. Past three months, down 9.08%. Past year, up 21.57%. And past five years, up 140.97%. Dividend yield is 2.55%, which means they are paying investors $1.20 per year, or $0.30 cents per quarter. This is also a solid dividend play. Next is Comcast. Ticker symbol CMCSA. 
misspelled. Comcast operates as a media company worldwide. It operates through cable communications, cable networks, broadcast television, filmed entertainment, and theme park segments. Current price is $35.27. Market cap is $164 billion. P ratio is 15, and 4P ratio is 13. All right, let's look at the performance. Today up 1.79%. Past week, down 0.03%. Past month, down 2.58%. Past three months, up 5.19%. Past year, down 5.21%. And past five years, up 72.87%. Dividend yield is 2.16%, which means they are paying investors 76 cents per year or 19 cents per quarter. Last but not least is Pepsi, ticker symbol PEP. Pepsi operates as a food and beverage company. Current price is $108.22. Market cap is $153 billion. P ratio is 19 and forward P ratio is 18. Take a look at performance today up 1.6%. Past week down 1.93%. Past month, down 4.16%. Past three months, down 1.36%. Past year, up 1%. And past five years, up 57.86%. Dividend yield is 3.43%, which means they are paying investors $3.71 per year, or $0.92 cents per quarter. That's all for this video. What are your... Uh, what, are your, what stocks are you following? Comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about investing, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.